girl catches small fry on the beach every day, but she never eats them. Instead, she mashes them up and throws them all into the sea. Grabbing a stick, she waits and watches for her prey to take the bait. It doesn't take long for a small shark to swim by. The girl immediately held her breath and thrust her stick into it. I thought her intention was to eat it, but it wasn't. The next moment the girl had the shark high in the air. Then she hid in a prepared sand ditch, waiting for the more ferocious prey to appear on the deserted island. Unfortunately she was too tired to fall asleep. By the time she wakes up, the prepared shark had disappeared. All that was left behind was half a piece of rope. Realizing that the deserted island is home to some terrible unknown creature, she decides she must leave as soon as possible. She then naively puts the suitcase she found into the water, trying to escape in the suitcase, but the girl was too fat. The suitcase did not float at all. She threw the suitcase aside in anger. She caught a small fish to replenish her strength, to avoid the monster coming back at night. She hid in a decaying tree cave to rest. She thought the creature would not find her, but just as she was falling asleep, the creature suddenly started banging on the hole. She was so scared that she couldn't breathe. Luckily, the monster made a few rounds of the hole and left the area. When she woke up, the rotting hole had been half torn apart by the monster. To deal with this horrible monster, she could only keep making spears out of stones. But just then, a figure suddenly floated from a distance. She rushed forward to check it out. And she found, the man had been bitten by the monster, leaving only half of his body behind. To find out what the creature looked like, she dragged the body up a tree with a rope. At night she hid in the sand ditch, waiting quietly for the creature to appear. And before long, a humanoid creature appeared. It pulled half of the body down. But it wasn't long before the creature disappeared without a trace. As the girl looked around, the creature suddenly came up to her. She was so frightened that she immediately covered her mouth and nose, praying that the monster would leave quickly. This girl sleeps every day in a rotten hole in a tree, because she is stranded on a deserted island. At night, a terrifying humanoid monster appears looking for her. To escape the monster, the naive girl found a rag, and tied her securely to a coconut tree. The girl thought that if she hid in the tree, the monster would not find her. But at night, the monster's voice came again, scared. The girl immediately looked to her left and right. She saw the creature walking slowly towards her. The girl was so frightened that she didn't dare to breathe. She prayed that the creature would not find her. It wasn't long before there was no movement down there. But as she looked down, the monster overturned her sleeping bag. The girl had no choice but to run. But she was too slow. Soon the monster was in front of her. The monster threw her out. She thought she was going to die this time. But then there was a sudden thunderclap in the sky. And then the monster was scared away. The next day she woke up. The girl immediately bandaged her own wounds. While she was thinking about what to do with the creature. A leather boat suddenly floated by in the distance. It turned out to be a couple. The girl learned that they were not married. She immediately persuaded them to leave. There are terrible humanoids here. But the man didn't believe her at all. When they didn't listen to him, the girl immediately pushed their boat and prepared to leave. But the two lovers soon discovered her shameful behavior. They tied her securely to a tree. Despite being tied up, the girl still persuaded them to leave. But the woman didn't believe a word she said. She insisted on going to the beach to collect shells. While the man and the girl were arguing, a scream of distress came out of nowhere. The boyfriend friend grabbed a torch and went to rescue his girlfriend. Two men pushed the kayak hard into the sea. If they don't make it out this time, they would have to die here. Because on this deserted island, there's a terrible, unknown creature hiding. The two men didn't have time to think. They paddled as hard as they could. But just then, a sharp claw suddenly reached out from the bottom of the sea and almost tipped the boat over. The two men immediately ducked into the boat. But the creature wasn't about to let them go. It cut through the bottom of the boat with its own nails. Then a head burst in. The man immediately took out his flare gun and shot the creature in the mouth. He thought the creature would not come back to haunt him. But the next second, the girl was pulled under the water by the monster. The man watched as the girl was about to be pulled to the monster's cave. But then it targets the man in the skin boat again. Again. As the man is pulled into the cave, the girl immediately swam as hard as she could to the shore. At this point she realized that running away would not solve anything, so she returned to the shore. Straight away she made dozens of spears in one go. Then she found a large pile of scrap wood and formed a circle. Now she had only one thought in mind, and that was to kill this monster tonight. As the night wore on, the creature came ashore again, but this time it entered the trap the girl had designed. With a fierce fight, it was as if the monster felt no pain. Just when the girl thought she was going to die, the monster suddenly roared. It shattered its own organs. The girl was worried that the monster was not dead. She took out her spear and gave it a few more blows. This was the end of the monster crisis. The end of the story. The deserted island is set alight by the girl. As the smoke spreads into the sky, she is soon found and rescued by a rescue team. The film tells us that we all encounter all kinds of difficulties. Difficulties are not terrible, but running away from them doesn't solve anything.